Yeah, I don't know about that AMD card blowing up shit. I, I don't... I don't want to comment on that because... Like, the, where he said the driver update was frying cards. I... I... Man... I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to say that guy is full of shit, but... That just seems so unlikely, dude. It's It seems a little... Even for AMD... Like, as much as I shit on AMD, I have a really hard time believing that they would fuck their own products up that bad. That is... I don't... I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, dude. Maybe it has something to do with them locking more power tool in the last driver update, but... I was bench I was benchmarking my th my 6900 XT for that last video there the the big GPU video I was pushing 450 watts into that thing wasn't a problem then again I think it was only reference cards too which is possible no way 60 people sent their video cards to this guy why uh you know you know Northridge fix didn't that guy say he had like 300 graphics cards in backlog? That's all you can do. When like, uh, I think even, dude, even Newman has a fucking graphics card to get repaired. Hey, Newman, maybe you should put to this Germany guy. If Northridge isn't taking uh, clients. Because, um, what... I don't know, uh, dude, I don't know why so many people destroy their fucking cards. Hey, I mean... I'm with you on that one. Like, uh, I've I've never destroyed a graphics card taking it apart. But have you seen some of these fucking repair videos, man? There's like, there's like, dude, it's like liquid metal got jizzed across the entire fucking PCB, man. Like, how does that happen? It's, it's like, I, I'll tell you exactly how it fucking happened. They used that stupid fucking nozzle. Hang on, this is exactly how it happens, man. I wonder if I even still have that nozzle. It's like the dumbest fucking shit. No, I always throw it out. No, when you buy conduct or not, it comes with a little metal nozzle. And I don't know why they include that shit, but if you put it on and you try and release it slowly, it'll just jizz across the entire fucking PCP, man. It's like, it's like the trolliest attachment. You don't need that thing. I don't know why, I don't know why that's there. But only one thing matches on every single one. This is the driver. The driver every version? Every single customer updated the driver for AMD cards. Uh, the last update was on December 8th last year. And this is the only thing that matches. I'm just... That's wild, man. Just thinking what can be the problem here because this is very very strange i'm not saying that amd is trying to kill the cards with a new driver it is possible no these would still be under warranty they came out less than three years ago that, that wouldn't make any sense that amd is trying to push the cards a little bit harder with the driver and some of the cards cannot handle that and they are dying so the gpu chip is dying I don't have enough information. I have around 50. That doesn't make any sense because a cracked die would be like, oh yeah, a short. Yeah, if like 12 volts goes into the fucking die, that would crack it. Uh, I don't, that's the thing. I don't see how a driver would make a memory like fucking phase short out. That's weird. 50 cards with the same problem for three weeks. Uh, unless... One thing I can think of is it can they can they control can they control load balancing of the phases through the driver? Wouldn't that be a firmware update though? Also many cards. Like if it was load balanced incorrectly, like the actual phases themselves. That's, this is mm, no joke, but I need more information, and that's why I'm making this video. Please let me know in the comments below. If you have cards like this, 60, 800, and 6,900 cards, what kind of drivers you're using and do you have any problems with your device? If you have a friend with cards like this, please ask them. 
I know also that the Please of... ask them to update their driver so they can fuck around and find out. Bro, which are fixing graph for science cards. They're watching my videos. Let me know also in the comments below. We have to get more information about that, and this can be a very serious problem. We, we will make a follow-up video and we will see how everything goes. I, I want to say, I want to say, it seems like it's just the reference ones, right? I want to say it could be a bad batch of components because these were made during the pandemic when they were all using B-stock fucking capacitors and power stages anyway, right? And you have to think about how many thousands upon thousands of them probably had this batch. 50 of them died with cracked dyes, right? It could just be they're all failing at the same time frame because they used B-stock shit, right? I don't see how it would be the driver. Like, I think the driver... I, I, I'm not I'm not saying the analysis is incorrect. I, I think maybe the driver would be a clickbait. When really it's probably just failure from B stock components during the pandemic, right? That's what I would say. But the, but yeah, if you put driver in the headline, you get more clicks, right? I don't see how that the hell how that could be it, man. That seems a little far fetched to me. This is the problem. Okay, so here's the thing. With this whole uh, AMD graphics card blowing up shit. That, that video is being shared everywhere, right? What do we know about the internet? If this guy is totally wrong, nothing bad happens to him. But he got a fuck ton of exposure for it. I mean, I do the same thing, man. You just make up the dumbest fucking shit. It doesn't matter because you don't lose subscribers. You actually gain subscribers because now more people know about your content. That's why I, that's why I didn't want to comment on that guy's video because I don't know if it's just a publicity stunt or not to get exposure. Oh yeah, Door TV is a great example too, man. Actually, all the Le Moore's Law is dead. Uh, all the leakers, they just, I mean... Uh, look at, look at the growth of Moore's Law is Dead's channel. 90% of that shit is made up, dude. It doesn't matter. Nothing bad happens. Right? Why am I fucking telling the truth over here, right? Who was talking about that? Oh, God, what was that guy's name? Um, Upper Echelon Gamers just made a video about this. Literally just fucking yesterday or whatever. Uh, hang on, Upper Echelon. About this, this fake news shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, there, there's this, there's this fucking news company of the, uh, in Vancouver here, actually. Vancouver Times. Yeah. So apparently, dude, dude, this is fucking hilarious. So, um, they made an article apparently this Vancouver Times about how like the ex CEO of Twitter is like some pedophile or some shit. And it's completely wrong. Like, it was completely fucking fabricated. Former CEO arrested for child porn. That's what it is, yeah. And, uh, like, like... And... It got shared all over the internet like a virus. Like, it, it went viral, right? And then eventually, it got debunked by the by uh, Twitter itself and, like, Elon and, like, all that. Like, everyone, like, this is not true at all. How did this become viral, right? But, and then Upper Echelon goes into it, right? At, there's a disclaimer in, in small text at the very bottom. This is satire. It's like, a, it's like a professional looking article saying this dude is a pedophile. And they like cite sources and all this shit. This is satire. Went viral on the internet. And now everyone thinks this guy's a pedophile. And now this publication, the Vancouver Times, just generated insane ad revenue for lying their fucking asses off. That's how so that's how the internet works. You just lie and you just make shit up.
I don't know, dude, I don't know. It's, it's kind of wild. Dude, I encourage everybody to go watch this video after. It blew my fucking mind. The, like, no lawsuit. No lawsuit, man. They just, like, they just fucking... Dude, they just put this random-ass guy on blast and told him that he was fucking... He had, like, child pornography and shit. All of it was completely untrue. Nothing bad happens. I just got mad clicks. This is like an extreme example of uh, of making shit up for clicks, though, right? Uh, it, man, it's fucking insane. Like, here I am, like, telling the truth and, like, being a good guy and trying to, like, help people. What am I doing, man? What am I fucking smoking? I'll just tell... I'll just say... I'll just be like, hey, Linus is a fucking child pornography. I found a laptop with some porn on it. Get a million subscribers. Oh yeah, it was satire, boys. How? I don't understand how there can be no legal repercussion for this kind of shit. It seems insane to me.